Hello, and welcome to the DEX Imaging Help Desk video walkthrough for installing Canon Image Runner drivers on Mac. Before we begin, you'll need to know what version of Mac OS you are running. To find this, click the Apple logo in the top left corner and select About This Mac. Your Mac OS version will be listed on the window that pops up. You'll also need to know the IP address of the printer you are setting up. If you do not know this address, you can find it from the panel of the printer. On newer devices, tap the 123 button in the bottom right of the screen, or press the physical 123 button next to the screen. The IP address will be listed at the top of the counter's screen. On older devices, however, the IP address is not listed on the counter's screen. To get it, Press the settings slash registration button. Tap preferences. Then tap network. Finally, tap output report and select yes. The IP address will be listed on the first page of the report that prints. Now that we've covered the prerequisites, we can begin the process of installation. Open a web browser. We're using Safari in our example, but you can use Chrome. Firefox, or whichever browser you prefer. Navigate to www.deximaging.com service. On the Dex Imaging Service site, click Resources. Under Resources, click Canon Downloads to visit the Canon Driver site. In the search box on the Canon site, type in the model number of your printer, then select the appropriate auto-completed result beneath. Scroll down to find the operating system drop down boxes. Drop down the version box and select the corresponding version of Mac OS your computer is running. Occasionally, if you are running the latest release, it may not be on the list. In that case, select the highest available version. Scroll down the downloads page to find the UFR2 driver and click download next to it. Once the download completes, locate it in the Downloads section of your browser or the Downloads folder in Finder and open it. Then open the Package Installer. In the Installer, click Continue twice, then click to agree to the license agreement. Click Install to install the driver. You will likely be prompted to enter the administrator password for your Mac. Once the installer finishes, click Close. You can allow it to move the files to the trash. Now that the driver is installed, we must add the printer to the Mac. Open the System Settings app, either by clicking the gear icon in the dock, or by clicking the Apple logo in the top left and selecting System Settings. Navigate to Printers and Scanners. On newer Mac OS versions, click Add Printer, Scanner, or Fax. On older Mac OS versions, you'll click the plus icon. The following window may also look different based on Mac OS version, but the order of icons should be the same. We're going to the middle tab, which should look like a globe. In the address field, enter the IP address of your printer. Ensure the protocol is set to HP Jet Direct Socket. In the name field, name the printer whatever you would like it to show as on your computer. Finally, drop down the use box and click Select Software. In the search bar at the top, type part of the model number, then select the appropriate driver from the filtered list. Click OK, then add to add the printer to your computer. If your device has accessories such as a finisher or additional paper trays, select the newly added printer and navigate to Options and Supplies, then the Options tab. Ensure the accessories are set appropriately on this screen. Now that everything is configured, we're ready to print. If you have a color device, we recommend setting up presets to easily select black and white or color. To do this, open the print dialog. If you're using Word, Adobe, or most web browsers besides Safari, you will need to select an option such as Printer Properties or Print using System Dialog to get the System Print Dialog like you see here. Select Printer Options, then Quality. Here you can change the color mode between black and white and color. Once you've set it, drop down the presets box and save the current settings as a preset. You can save layout and finishing options as presets in a similar fashion.
Once you've configured your presets, send a page to print to ensure everything is working properly. Thank you for watching the Dex Imaging Help Desk YouTube channel. Please like this video if you found it helpful. You can subscribe to our channel for more informational content to get the most out of your Dex Imaging copier.